Old school match of the day, John the Magician Dodson versus Simgo. Now John Dodson had yet to begin his MMA career and Simgo was not the head instructor of Cobra Kai at this point. Now, the Jackson Guido team always used to come out to the Grappler's Quest West tournaments. Uh, they saw it as good preparation of MMA without getting hit in the face. Uh, and a lot of their guys participated in grappling tournaments and did fairly well. Simgo and the Cobra Kai team, being if you held a jiu-jitsu tournament in Las Vegas, they were always going to show up in force. So they represented something a little bit more than themselves in this match. Let's get to it. Now, somehow the original soundtrack went off of this uh, video, so you're going to have to listen to me or silence. Um, you know, back in the days with these old OTM clips, we used to throw like music and we had no idea what copyright was at that time. Um, but obviously we can't do that right now in the modern age. Think Napster back when we did this. At any rate, John Dodson and Skins, Simgo on the bottom in the uh, t-shirt right now. And you can see like at this point, Wow, that's some acrobatics right there. Dodson, you know, he came in there like he had like no reputation. He came in from Jackson Guido, of course. Uh, at that time, their two main grapplers that they were known for, or two main fighters, and then they were mainly on the grappling circuit at that point, Diego Sanchez and Keith Jardine. Uh, Diego Sanchez, of course, went on to win the Ultimate Fighting Champion, or the Ultimate Fighter, rather. Uh, Keith Jardine had a pretty good career in MMA, too. Uh, Diego's still fighting. Don't know what Keith Jardine's up to right now. Um, but aside from the fact that Dodson came in and entered the tournament, we've known Sim Go for a long time, so we're going to go ahead and uh, point a camera in his direction right there. John Dodson's matches were just so darn entertaining. Um, just full of um, bubbly personality, full of life, and you can just see that the guy moves like a cat. Um, Magician is a great nickname for him because like you can't catch this guy with anything. He escapes from everything. I don't think to this day he's actually ever been submitted in any kind of competition. Certainly not in the MMA career. And I don't ever remember seeing that in the grappling situations either. Now, Sim Go, of course, coming in here, uh, he's gone on. He competed at Abu Dhabi. Uh, he went on and took over Cobra Kai from Mark Lehman. Uh, Sim Go is the type of guy that would be like, First person in the academy, last person out. He would like be sleeping out in his car, waiting for Mark to open up the gym. And um, you know, Mark eventually moved on with a team takedown. Uh, I think he's in Wisconsin right now. Uh, Mark, if you're out there, give me a text. I haven't talked to you in a while. Um, yeah, but when he decided to leave, uh, Simgo is. Really, in a lot of ways, the heart and soul of Cobra Kai. Uh, it was just a natural fit or natural person to take that spot over. And Cobra Kai is still running in Las Vegas to this day. You know, this is kind of, um, you know, you have Simgo. He's classically trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He was classically trained as you can get with Mark Lehman, which is definitely going to be whatever works, work, and whatever doesn't, doesn't. But they were always going to be on the cutting edge of techniques. They also had a lot of guys coming into Las Vegas to train, including a lot of MMA fighters, too. Like, you know, back in the day, um, before everything else opened up, Cobra Kai, I would argue, was the place to train. I'd argue it's still one of the top places to train in Las Vegas, obviously. Um... Dodson with Jackson Guido, a little bit less of a traditional background out there. Although they always did really well in the grappling tournaments, you ask the guys, like, yeah, where did Greg Jackson learn his grappling? None of them can, can tell you what it was. Uh, I'm not saying it was a made-up style right there uh, that he had, but I don't know, what was the style right there? Obviously very effective, proven a long time ago uh, on these tournaments right there, and obviously proven so much more effective in mixed martial arts. Like, yeah, that is, in New Mexico, that is one of the great camps right there. Uh, but what Dotson's doing right now, I mean, there's a lot of, te I'm not saying he's untechnical right now, but there's just so much athleticism and acrobatics about this too. And it's working for him too, to a certain level. You know, this is the advanced division of Grappler's Quest, Simgo season Grappler at this point. Um, you know, John Dotson's obviously being on defensive at this point, but um, he's slippery and he just has like, you know, some guys have that it factor, that instinct factor. Like, they just know how to move in certain ways that make sense. Uh, it makes sense in a grappling sense, too, because, you know, if you're listening to this, um, if you've been grappling for any time, like, not everything is intuitive with grappling, uh, particularly jiu-jitsu. The whole idea of fighting off your back, not intuitive at all. Speaking of the back, there goes Sim 
Nice back take right there. And in many cases, be over. You can see like the crowd in the back kind of cheering and applauding. They think that's it. But you never know with Dotson. I already told you, kind of spoiled you. He's never been submitted in a competition. And yeah, it's just instincts, the way he's moving, the way he's uh, it's actually not quite turning the right way right there. But it works for him. He managed to go ahead and put Sim on his back at this point. I got to say, Sim is, God honest, like one of the most technical guys I've ever worked with, rolled with. Um, I would say that, you know, one of the best seminars I ever attended uh, was a Sim Go seminar, believe it or not. Um, you know, if you look at him, it's like... It really is this kind of thought process. If a guy like Sim Go can make this work on somebody, and really I've seen Sim roll with a whole variety of people, um, then it can work on anybody. What am I playing here? Like Sim does not look like your typical fighter or grappler or anything like that. He uh, perpetually, sorry, looks like he's about 14 years old, uh, but he will tie you up in knots. At any rate, right back to the back again. You notice everybody's kind of sitting around the, the mat side right now. That's kind of a hallmark in grapplers' quests. Uh, in tournaments of this age in general, like, you know, like they had rented out wrestling mats from the high school they were at. You kind of designated the areas. Uh, and, and people, like, were respectful. They stayed at a distance. Um, but you could be right close to the action in this case. You could be sitting on the mat. That, that always makes me nervous when I see that, though. Like, depending on what's going on. Like, these guys are obviously small guys. I've had that situation where I have, like, 250 pounders going at each other and, like, kids sitting on the mat. And, and people can go barreling into it. Uh, and, yeah, there are kids on the mat right there. But, um, yeah, it's obviously a bit more dangerous. But, the, but there's also another kind of special feeling, that closeness, like, that you won't get on any other thing. Great match, guys.